Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 5 seconds countdown timer in Premiere Pro. So to create our timer, the first thing you need to do is to go over to this letter T over here and select it to activate the type tool. Next, go over to the preview screen here and type in your first number. I'm going to type in the number 5. Next, double click on that number to highlight it and move over to your essential graphics over here. And under essential graphics, you can begin to make whatever adjustments you like to it. For example, I would like to align it properly to the center. You can also change the font type and the font style. I'm using Miride Pro and I'm using the bold font style. You can also select your fill color if you want it to be white. I'm, I'm going to stick with white. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to adjust the length of this graphics to equal exactly one second. So presently it's at five seconds or almost five seconds. So I'm going to move this to exactly one second. And you can see over here, now I'm going to move this timer to move to that exact frame. Now because I choose a 5 seconds countdown, I need to duplicate this graphics 4 more times to create 1, 2, 3 and 4. To do this, I'm going to hold down Alt and drag this to the right to create duplicates and hold down once more and continue to do this. Now make sure that these graphics are side by side each other without any space in between. Next, start changing the numbers for each text so that it follows the numbers before it so that when it counts down, the numbers will be before it. For example, I'm going to select this next number here and double click here to change it to 4. I'm going to change this to 3. Change this to 2. And change this to 1. Now to animate this, I'm going to move over to my first number over here and move over to the first frame. Now move over to the first control. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle on the stopwatch for scale and move over to the end and increase the value three times higher. So I'm going to change this from 100 to 300 and move this keyframe to the end of the clip. So what I'm going to do next is to select this vector motion over here, right click and hit copy. Select this next clip over here and hit control V to paste it. Select this number and hit control V to paste it. Select this one, Control V to paste it, and select this and hit Control V to paste it. I'll just quickly render that. And if we hit play from the beginning now, you can see what we have created over here. But what if you want the timer to zoom out rather than zooming in? I'll just simply go over to the first number over here and select it. And what I'm going to do is to change this keyframe. So rather than it starting from 100 and moving up to 300, I'm going to make it start from 300 and move down to 100. So I'm going to delete this both keyframes over here and make the start keyframe over here to be 300. Make sure that your scale here is turned on and the value is 300 and move close to the end and change the value down to 100 and move this to the end. Now I'm going to select this other clip and delete the other keyframes that I have applied to it before and select this and delete deselect the and deselect the other keyframes that I've applied to it before repeat this process to all the other keyframes so what I'm going to do is to select this first keyframe over here that has this new value from 300 to 100 select the vector motion right click and hit copy to copy now move over to the next one and hit Ctrl V to paste property. Move over to the number three, hit Ctrl V to paste property and repeat this for all the other numbers over here. And if I go back now and hit play, you can see that rather than the numbers zooming out, they'll be zooming in. And that's it guys on how to create this countdown timer in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.